Today's video guys, we've got just a simple mail call, nothing exciting. This one I'm guessing is eBay, I think. Please handle carefully. Uh, I'm not sure what's in here, so we'll find out. The other one is from Facebook. So, ah, I will tell you guys about that one in a few minutes. <clears throat> now this, I'm not sure what it is, but it looks like it's a slab, so we're good, I'm happy. Okay, simple. Thank you. Oh, no. Hope you enjoy your purchase. I don't think it's a slab. Yeah, it is. Okay. So, this is probably just one of the last ones I bought. I bought a few last things here and there. I have slowed down immensely what I buy. So, more than likely, I'm guessing this is just an X one. First of all, let's try to save our, uh, save our wrap. Because I will use this over and over again. So, give me a moment. Hopefully I can extract it without ruining it. Not bad. Simple. The tape comes off. I'm still trying to, you know, only buy older X-Men that I don't have yet. So I'm guessing that's what this is one of the last ones I picked up. Anything under 100, guys, if you have it slabbed, let me know. I'd be interested. Depending if I have it all, I think I've got maybe... I, I have a 50 of, of the under 100 X-Men done, I think. So... None of the major expensive ones, but, you know, none of 1 through 10, which I'm not expecting ever to get. But if I do, I do. When I finish up everything else, I'll start working on saving up money for those. Which means my comic volume will come to an end, <laughs> except for those. I can't afford, you know, one, one, two, three, and 4, and 5 are going to be out of my reach, more than likely. Unless I hit the lottery, so. But, I think I got all the... Nope, still more tape. Ah, I feel like DJ... It's the tape... The tape has got me. So either way, nice reusable, of course. And they taped it right to the. There we go. Let's just put that there. Sorry about that. Um, do I even need to cut this? I guess I do. He taped. He cut it. Or he taped up both ends of it. No big deal. Well, normally I try to buy all of my X-Men slabs for as cheap as I can get them, above a 6.5. Most of them I have. I got a few fives, some vibes, but there's kind of placeholders. There we are. There it is. Then they taped it right to it. Hang on. Hang on. <sighs> Guys, you're ruining the bags. I hate that. I like my CGC bags. Okay. Oh, well. Here we go. And you're getting... Or I'm getting. <laughs> X-Men number 75. Not the Mark Jewelry variant, but still X-Men number 75. This is still in the reprint era. The uh, 6.5. Marvel Girl pinup is inside of it, I guess. So you're looking at a pre-100. You guys know 66 and what? Uh, above 66 to 93 are all reprints. So they really should not be costing you a lot. I did pay a little more. I think I paid in the range of 60 bucks for this. I mean, it really, it's just one to mark off my list that I have. So, and as I get them, my raw copies will go out the door and I'll sell those off. So, either way, I'm happy with it. It, it knocks another one off my list. Okay, now this one, there's a seller on Facebook named, what is it? It is Timothy Stratton or Trevor Stratton. Sorry, Trevor. And every two days a week, he gets shipments in from CGC. He pretty much sends out everything. So you'll have just some cool stuff, some old stuff, some interesting stuff. <clears throat> and I think two out of three of these books cost me under $40. There's three slabs in here. Two of them, one was 30, one was 35, and then the other one was 60. Which, yeah. So, I mean, you just, it's basically a claim sale. It goes... He'll start at 7.30 my time, and just goes, goes, and goes. This is what he does for a living, I'm assuming. It's kind of shit I'd like to do. <laughs> Buy a large collection, get it all CGC'd, and then just auction it off or whatever, you know? <sighs> yes, I'm still looking for a job, so I'm buying stupid shit like this, and I'm still looking for a job. Impeccably packaged. I think the shipping was only, what, 10 15 bucks for all of them. 
So it was rather inexpensive, under $130 for all three books, which were graded books that I wanted. Not bad. I missed this uh, one last night. I wanted to do a live thing, my own live CGC opening last night, so I missed his. But I was okay. I, I, I need, I'm not buying much anymore. These were just, I really wanted one of them, and then I'm like, well, if I don't buy something else, the shipping pretty much is going to kill me, so. But very nicely wrapped, just kind of like I do. The heavy stuff that you get from CGC, and then wrapped in bubble wrap. Uh, okay, tape on the outside. Fairly easy tape to come off. But I'm happy with it. Doesn't matter to me. I know everyone. T everyone's yelling at me. I shouldn't be. I shouldn't be buying things. But uh, I don't know. I'm only buying a few items here and there. Wow. They're all like. Okay. Let's go with the first one. Let's do it that way. Hopefully, it looks like the right books. I think they are. I can't see them. Okay. First one up. Put you to the side for right now. Most of these are going to go well. All my. All my. Uh, all my graded books right now are going right into my own collection until I either figure out what job I have or what I'm doing. Okay, first one up on is number one. This is the one I really wanted. I didn't get the he had a 9.8 up. I didn't get the 9.8, and then he put a 9.6 up, and I grabbed it. This is Star Wars Bounty Hunter number one, second printing. I just thought the Boba Fett front was just badass. Got a 9.6 because it has one, two ticks on the side, very tiny ones. I guess that's why I got 9.6. So either way, second printing. I never saw the second printing. I've got the first printing and a few uh, and a few alternates of this one, but never saw the second printing. Okay, Let's see if we can find the other thirty-dollar book. It is. This one was also, I think, this was the cheapest of the bunch. That was thirty-five. This one ran me 30 bucks, and I got it just because I thought the cover was cool. I have a ton of these books raw because that Spider-Man booth gives out these like they're candy. But I don't have this one, and it is only 9.8, so I really can't complain about it for $30. This is Spider-Woman number 5 with the Peach Momoko cover. So, I mean, what? This is, it costing him 30 bucks to get a slab. He made no money on it. So, it costed me shipping to get it to me, so I just like the cover on it. So, definitely not as good as the... Ah! And down they go! Forget it. I, I need a new one of these things. Oh, yeah, Not as good as this one, but let's put these away. These are not big books, guys. They're from my own collection. They're just kind of fun ones. You know, they may sooner or later make it into a low-end mystery box if I find out I need to get rid of them, but... Okay, the final one, this is for my personal collection. So, the first appearance, and I think it cost me 60 bucks. It's the only one of these I have that is actually a slab. Because I have a bunch of these books. You'll know, ah, hold on. You'll know what it is in a moment. Can't tell by the back of it. As Taylor would say, it's hard. Well, or... Bubble wrap is hard. There we go. I wanted this in a 9.8. He had like four of them. $60 is this the Timeless Alex Ross cover. <clears throat> Wolverine number six. First appearance. First appearance of Solemn. So, very cool in a 9.8. I'm very happy with it. So, that's all. That's a short, very easy video. These are all personal collection books at the moment. At least these two are. The Peach Momoko. Just because it was cheap and I like, I mean, I like the cover. I mean, she did well on it. I mean, she's a good, she's a good artist. So, guys, that's it. Uh, check us out Friday night. Sometimes we'll post. We'll do hangouts with Taylor and Jason and everybody, and Rob and whoever else wants to jump on. We just talk shit for two, three hours because we are geeks at home in our closets. Sounds kind of weird. But, and of course, me and Taylor have the Cranky Comic Chat every Sunday night at 7.30 my time, 8.30 his time. So, which, either way, this is just a quick four more slabs from my own collection. Probably the last slabs I have coming for a long time. Though DJ Lynx's box should have a slab in it. So, thanks for watching, guys, and have a nice night.